<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Last time we left off, we finished the investigation looking into the murder of Mew Iruma, the gorgeous woman genius, whatever, girl genius, What you know what I'm trying to say here. Regardless, uh, she is unfortunately dead, because she was one of my favorite characters to a certain degree, and um, we have to figure out what happened. And just like any other time before starting a uh, investigation, please, or starting a trial, it's very good that you guys go through the evidence, familiar, familiarize yourselves with it, and then take things from there. I feel pretty good about this, actually, uh, in terms of, like, how certain things may have been done. Obviously not everything. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some plot twist here and there, and I, I obviously don't know who could have done it or why. Um, but that's always the fun part about this stuff. Now, we have more skills. Uh, well, we have some more skill points. And I, it just kind of occurred to me, I'm like, crap, I, probably had to, I had to go to that casino to really... I think to really start buying stuff like this, but frankly, I'm good, at least in my opinion, with what we have. Um, I want to show you guys what financing is, because that's the new one we got from Maki. 32 skill points. And it simply increases the amount of coins that we get after class trials. I guess it would be nice if you're looking for things like that, but honestly, I'm really not. You know, but it's there. But everything else, I'm fine with. So let's just go ahead and begin the class trial and see what crazy nonsense they're going to bring up. <laughs> now then, let's begin with a basic explanation. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. You need more motivation. I do. I really... Do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. What happens if the votes result in two first places? Huh? You mean like a tie? It means they're both the blackened, as long as one of them is correct. That's fine. Daddy! Sure, you should make a decision like that so casually? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. What game? How long are you gonna keep saying that? Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. Got it? We can't die here! Oh my! Himiko has become so determined! It's true! People really do change! But now she's lost what made her so unique. That's none of your business! We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify... Kaito's the culprit! What? Say that to my face! While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? Don't screw around! There's no way I'm the culprit! Kaito right! Kaito couldn't have killed me! How long are you gonna keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. The fact that Kaito is the only one locked out is suspicious. But he's not the culprit. He can't be. I'm really hoping not. And remember, he was involuntarily logged out. He, he had to have been. So, let's see what we got. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when he poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me! 
That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? What do you mean, last words? Hmm. Let's see here. Um. I mean, they're all they're talking about the whole poison thing. However. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. Bloodshot eyes. She didn't have bloodshot eyes. So... I don't know if I should present the bottle of poison or the Monokuma file when they say she was poisoned. Because I don't think that's the case. First, we need to decide if Mia was killed in the real world or the virtual world. That's where the problem lies. Kaito logged okay. out first. So I, himself. it has to. I think it, it's you a small bottle of poison. In, but the poisoner, right, Kaito? No, she was not poisoned because she didn't have cerebral hemorrhaging or something hemorrhaging for the eyes. Watch out, eyes. Uh, I'm not a medical person. Mew wasn't killed by poison. And the warning on the label proves it. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body... That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. Then what was that poison for? Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Then, what was her real cause of death? Mew's real cause of death? The only one I can think of. Um... Do we present the hammer itself? Or do we say that... Um... Where is it? I don't know. If, I don't know if we present the hammer or do we talk about how if an anthrax takes fatal damage, the real body will also die from a shock. I think we can go kind of both ways. Let's try this. This is it. Okay, because I, I guess it's true. We don't know it for sure. It was a hammer just yet. Whose cause of death was the killing game simulator itself? In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage. Your real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. Miu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gonta has question. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? If you don't understand, then don't say anything. If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. So her cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Uh, um... Oh, it seems like Gonta is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? Um, so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Smoogie, Gonta, and that NPC Kaito. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now. Let's all work together! Oh, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. That was uncalled for! Someday, my chest will grow like crazy! Let's begin, then. That's right, Himiko. Believe. And they will come. The fatal damage that Mew received in a virtual world Let's pin that down. Alright, let's see what we got. Could be the hammer. That's the only thing that comes to my mind. But, um... Hmm. In the virtual world, Miu was fatally injured. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever 
Bird did that to me. Was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! Or going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Could she have drowned? Damn, I'm really sure to agree with any of that, really. We have, we have to determine the, the specific cause of death. When I think about the condition of Mew's body, that should yield a clue. In the virtual... Okay, well, let's... I think it mentioned her corpse, not the avatar. Yeah, she was found grasping her neck with both hands. She died... She died with her eyes open. Expression of agony on her face. So it's like... That sounds like suffocation. Like strangulation, you know? So I think... Who mentioned that? That was... Maki, I believe, who said strangulation. But like, how though? Let's see. We don't really have proof it's the We're hammer. Going to beat her with his bare hands. Not that either. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? Here we go. I think strangulation is more likely. I'm thinking that too, even though I don't know how. There we go. Oh damn it, I didn't get the viewpoint. It's fine. Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yeah. She looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right. And the virtual world is connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. Mew was strangled to death. Yeah, definitely. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she's suffocated. But we already removed the possibility of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Oh, the Assassin Master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. Then they must have used something else as a rope. I got it. This just popped into my head. What's the one piece of evidence that we're like, why is it even here? Toilet paper. Now, you might be wondering, how the fudge can you kill somebody with toilet paper? Well, I don't, at least I don't think you can, normally. But in this world, objects cannot break. They don't tear. So, toilet paper could easily be used as something for strangulation in, in this virtual world. Something for a rope? Hmm. I have an idea what, that, what it might be. I found it during the investigation. That would be the toilet paper. I was wondering, even when I was going through the evidence before this episode started, I'm like, what? what is the toilet paper going to be used for? It could be something like totally random, like the second case, the black piece of fabric um, that was Kirumi's uh, from her glove that kind of pinpointed her like, yeah, you're the villain. But toilet paper right off the bat. Okay. This is it. During the investigation, 
we found toilet paper outside the mansion. Yeah, we're like, what the fudge is it doing out here? I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Go to no can ignore that. Yeah, he's not gonna understand it. What you mean, Shuichi? Huh? What's wrong? What wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. Oh, poor Gonta. It's okay. We'll show him what we mean. I think it's the no time for nonsense. We can check the killing game simulator. If that's someone that tells it. Yep, objects can't break. Perfect. No can use toilet paper in place of rope. Would tear too easy. Crap! It was right there. Going to know that, and going to not smart. No, I'm positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. You died such an awful death. So why you not take this seriously? You call yourself ultimate detective? Use your head. Figure out real murder weapon. No, I'm positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. It's no time for nonsense. You no know can use toilet paper in place of rope. What tear to Yeah, I gotta figure it. I went too far. Okay. That's weird how it advanced and then it looped. Whatever. The toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in the virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Breakable? <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Gonta not really understand, but... Sorry, Shuichi. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. Killed by toilet paper. It was... a fitting end for her. Okay. I don't mean to laugh at that, but... Yeah! Somehow it is... Fitting. I mean, a woman who talks about her turds and analyzing and things like that. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it still sucks. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. A fitting end. I do not fully understand that logic. But if Mew was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. If the culprit meant to get rid of the evidence, they did a poor job of it. Th that was There was a much better place where they could have destroyed it. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? Wait, we already knew who brought that hammer. Yeah, that was Mew. She was the one who was responsible for removing all the dangerous objects in the virtual world, but she left the hammer. Why is that? That's it! Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Mew bring hammer? Remember what she told us? And just like I said, she took out all dangerous objects, except that hammer was still existing, though. Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? But why she do that? Mew brought the hammer for sure. But what, what does she need it for? We need to make that clear. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think she had an idea to kill Kokichi. I think. Yep, they're meeting. Let's Perfect. That... And let me just uh, confirm it here. While everyone was gathered to chapel, Mew told Kokichi. Oh, wait. Mew told Kokichi to meet her up in the rooftop? 
That's weird. I could have sworn a Kokich wanted to talk to her about something. Unless he had something on her, and she's like, "Okay, fine. Meet me up out on the on the roof uh, the rooftop." We'll see. You brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall. Uses for a hammer. Going to know Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. Probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with someone. Yeah, you. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, she couldn't. You idiot, she was the victim! But I think that meeting... See, but... They didn't actually meet, apparently, because the door was locked. But we still don't... We, no one can confirm that Kokichi was actually in the salon investigating it, because no one, no one was around him. What was Mew planning to do with that hammer? That's still unclear. I need to think back to what she was doing, what her plan was. Let's assume. So I, I, I think it has to be a Kokichi statement right there. Excuse me. With hammer. She probably just brought it herself to this. Or she secretly met up. Crap. Wait, no, no. To kill them with it. Um, no, I, I think the lettering blocked me. I got confused. I'm like that. Because if it was wrong, it would have said, like, no, what the hell, you're, you're an idiot, and I would have lost some influence, or health, whatever it's called in this game. One more time. Yeah, that looks better. If I can aim, that'll be great. What the hell's wrong with me? Sorry, guys, one more time. Thank God for the fast forward feature. I love when games actually have stuff like this where you can just kind of skip things or at least fast forward. It's so much nice. It's so much nicer. There we go. Apparently, I missed the V point again, but that's fine. You was gonna meet up with someone in the virtual world. Mm-hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. Kokichi's already figured it out. She was planning to... Um... Ah, confess her love. No, 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 man. She was with me. I think. I mean, she gave me her panties that still had residual heat, so... That means a lot. We can assume that she was gonna kill him. That's it! She was trying to kill Kokichi. She was what? Yep. She plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Mew's plan, huh? I'm sure if I analyze the clues we found, I can figure something out. Alright, let's do it! Alright. Is there a way to make this go faster? I guess not. Well, actually, I, no, I guess I could have. There is that one um, skill where I can pick up more letter cubes each time I run across one, but this mini game isn't like, oh my god, difficult that you know I'm gonna be stuck here forever. So it just it just maybe a little time consuming. But I don't care. Who doesn't like a nice relaxing drop? Well, I'm sure a lot of people don't, but uh, still. Sometimes there's just a calm with it. Alright, I'm good enough to get two. There we go. Oh, really? Just one? Who tried to kill Kokichi? We know that that was supposed to be Mew. I don't know if you guys noticed the billboards. It, it was that like that manga style drawing. That that one that weird scene that was like for like three seconds long. It's like, okay. Who tried to kill Kokichi? That would be Yu Yuruma. 
stay right in the middle. What are these hookers doing in, in the middle of the street anyway? Such impolite manners. Now I'm trying to imagine if this was like 3D, it was like a segment. Would it be cool to look at or would it be like really eye straining? Like, I personally never really cared for 3D. Um, like for example, I have a 3DS, uh, and I, I never turn on the 3D on it. Never. Like to me, it's like, how is this fun? It hurts my eyes. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people enjoy it, but just not for me. I want to say the virtual world. I thought it was going to be like more, like a, it was going to be a narrower answer like where in a virtual world. Because apparently he couldn't go to the rooftop because it was locked. Ooh, oh, oops. So I guess I kind of, hmm. But the whole reasoning why the toilet paper was by the mansion, that that's what I'm still a little confused about. But that's why I love these trials. You you go you keep going along and it like starts clicking one by one and it's like ah there's like a sense of satisfaction. Like, yes, I got it. That's kinda how I am when it comes to math. Like I hate math, personally. But when I figure out a problem, it's like, oh cool. Why was the bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? I'm assuming... She, oh, maybe she wanted to kill him! There, hold on. Um, no, it's a divider, divert attention. Now I'm starting to think, because if we remember... I don't know, well... I, it's fresh in my mind, because I reviewed the evidence before starting this recording session. But she logged in last. So maybe that in that two minute phase, she quickly grabbed poison, put it on his seat. Well, then again, we'll see. I don't know. She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. He did that too? What? Miu was the one who put that poison bottle there? No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. There is? Oh, man, I wanted to take a break. Oh, we'll, we'll do this, and then we'll... Afterwards, when we get, get control again, we'll stop. Uh... When could Miu have put the poison there? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. And then what? Log back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. Then who put poison bottle? The only person who logged out early was Kaito. Kaito, your grave just got 10 feet deeper! No, it wasn't me, guys! Alright, let, let's... Mm, I'm wondering if I have an idea, like... We had to disagree with somebody with that one, I think. Because, once again, see here. It's not a matter of logging out. She never logged out. Period. But she logged in last. I think that's what we're focusing on here. The poison was planted evidence. The question is when it was planted. If we determine that the when, we might also determine the who. When could you have the poison? All right. Uh, I gotta figure this out. It's not logged out. Nope, I didn't see. If she hadn't logged in. 
then you couldn't have now that's wrong there we go it was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair she had plenty of time to do it here take a look at this is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Yeah, what about it? If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right! She could have placed Poison Bottle on Kokiji's seat! This was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. Well, that's not my fault. Which is why she manually logged you out, just for that purpose. So she did that to me? Yes, I'm positive of that. Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. How did Mew log Kaito out? Even though we know the answer, we're going to continue this trial in the next episode. 30-something uh, minutes. Good video. But, uh, yeah, I'm... I, I don't want I don't want to jinx myself, but... I'm liking how this is going. I think it's going a lot better than the third trial. I think that's for certain. I think I'm pretty sure there's instances in the second trial I really got stumped as well, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm liking how this is going. I'm, I'm liking this mystery. But I'm wondering... Because I... I can't remember. I think... I think all the other Danganronpa games had six chapters? So... If we're following that formula, then... You know, we got two more to go, and I'm wondering what's going to be in store for us... In those. Because from what... Also, from what I can remember... The two last trials and the other games were insane. So, man, I, I don't know. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Anyway, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, Feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.